see what the bro got going on today, man. He had one stop. Yeah, man. What's going on, bruh? What's going on, man? Chillin', chillin', man. What you got going on today? I see these jerseys, man. So you got a nice jersey job going on. Yeah, today you working on an order for uh, the basketball organization uh, called New Heights. I know a lot of y'all probably done heard. Um, they actually get uh, you know young kids ready for uh, college and things like that. They're a very known uh, basketball organization. Right. We're doing um, some reversible jerseys, some home away. Uh, they need these by Wednesday. They might have a game coming up, but uh, yeah, we got that going on for them. Uh, uh, that's fire, man. You did the printing? Yeah, yeah, we do all the printing in-house. Uh, we're doing these in DTF, so that way it sticks to the polyester better. Um, we do a white, I mean a black backing, so that way the white will stay vibrant and stay popping on dark garments. Um, pretty much I got a sample over here I can show you. So this is the print on the New Heights jersey. Dope. You can see how white that, that, that whiteness is, it just you know, yeah, pops very clean. well. Yeah, that's clean right there. Good, Nike jersey. Yep, Nike reversible. You know, we pretty much, you know, we do a lot of work for them, uh, whether it's jerseys, t-shirts, and things like that. That's fire, man. Uh, the navy blue. Oh, this is for the white. For the white side, when we throw the reverse side. Uh, that's dope. I see the inside of the jersey. Once they flip them out, they'll be able to, you know, use both sides. Exactly. That's too fire. Right, that's clever, man. If you want to uh, pull up over here and see how we do a quick little one ball on the back. Show you see how that show. thing is made, man. So I'm measuring from the top uh, just to make sure every jersey is the same exact way, same exact layout. So that way everything is unique and everything is sync. Well, these are polyester. What does that mean? What's the uh, what's the numbers on top of this machine right here? Um, so polyester, uh, we like to press at a lower heat. So this is pretty much 280 degrees. Um, we want to do low pressure on polyester just so that way uh, we don't have any like very score marks and things like that. And we uh, polyester is a very different material to work with, so we want to make sure that we don't damage the material and putting too much heat on the material and stuff like that. All right, that's good to know, Richard, man. Uh, cotton and uh, things like that, you want to definitely be at a definitely more of a higher temperature. I would say 300 to uh, 325 is the normal um, temperature for uh, cotton uh, pieces. I seen you throw it back under the heat. What was that about? Uh, I always like to give it a second uh, hit just to make sure that it melts into the garment. And if you can see, uh, let me turn it around so you can uh, kind of see. If you really look at it, it actually starts getting the, the design of the inside. So that way you know that it's pretty much in the garment. Um, you know, we're using a professional heat press over here. This is not you no know, Amazon heat press that you can go and buy for a hundred and something dollars. This is a Stahl's heat press. This is a $2,600 heat press. Everything is um, pretty much uh, the temperature, the the settings, the, the pressure, everything is uh, in sync. Everything is, you know, you want to make sure that everything is perfect. If you don't have the right pressure, if you don't have the right temperature, sometimes those Amazon heat presses don't give you those correct temperatures that you need and your garment uh, image starts coming off and things like that. Do something like that for your own garments, that's perfect. When you start getting into the resale, you wanna go with more of a professional commercial heat press. See, y'all hear that, man. Y'all wanna go with something a little bit more professional if y'all wanna get the great quality, man. What's going on, what's going on, man? We back, we actually working on the white side now with the blue uh, print. Um, so yeah, it's the reversible jerseys like we said earlier. Uh, now we're just working on the white side, putting the blue image on here with the DTF prints. 
Again, we do this at low temperature. As you can see, these actually have a white backing. And the reason that is because we're just putting them on white garments. So we don't need to do the uh, dark backing like this so where the colors can pop. If we're going on a white garment, the colors are gonna pop regardless of the fact. So we can go ahead and put the white backing on that. Uh, so we let this cool down a little bit and then we pull off that quick. Man. That quick. We give it that second hit just so that way we make sure it's in the garment, no coming off. Uh, like I said, uh, DTF uh, prints are pretty much tested to do practically over 60 plus washes without any color, without any uh, color like this, um, uh, discoloration, um, any peeling or anything like that was tested for 60 plus washes. How do you know when to peel it off? How do you know if it's when, when to actually peel it off of the garment? Um, it all depends on the film. So uh, they have cold film peels and then they have hot uh, peel. Uh, these particular ones are cold peel. Uh, so you just wait for it to cool down about like 10, 10, 15 seconds and then you can peel. On the hot peel, you can actually let it wait about five seconds and then you can peel right away. The only thing is, is with the cold uh, paper between the hot peel is your colors and your vibrancy that pops. So on hot peel, a uh, small detail and the colors might not pop as as well as if you were using a cold uh, peel, just because of the different things that they use to uh, hold the colors and different things like that. This was definitely uh, designed for cold peel. They actually just dropped a hot peel. So they still working out the kinks and everything with that as well. definitely good to know and important because you know if you you happen to peel too quick or yeah if you peel too quick the image you gotta let the adhesive actually get a little bit of cool so that way the adhesive can grab onto the garment if you pull too fast then you can actually lift the print and then you'll have issues with the, the garment I mean the lettering lifting and then you can't uh, fix that you have to reprint it you lose a garment so just be patient with DTF for sure uh, just so that way you can make sure that adhesive's cooled down and it's on the garment without any problems. So yeah, man, that concludes today. Uh, we pretty much went over DTF on polyester jerseys. Uh, we're working on the new heights order. Um, so stay tuned, keep coming back. We're gonna give y'all different feeds on different projects that we're working on throughout the days. Uh, we'll go through embroidery, we'll go through a puffy print, we'll go through DTG. Um, we'll pretty much go through as much as we can. We have so many different ways that we print here. So just keep coming back. Stay tuned for more content. One-stop shop printing. Love, hate, clothing.